This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Across from the state capitol, I'm pointing that way because today the room that we're in, the capitol's over there. Sometimes the capitol moves. Sometimes it's over there. Or yeah, sometimes there, it's over, over there. there. Yeah. It does move around. Yeah, so. it moves around. So. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> you have kind of a neat uh, story coming up. Kind of give us a little bit of a prelude to it. Well, I, yeah. I, I don't really kind of. I don't know what this is, but I wonder. Does it taste like crab or lobster? Not exactly, no, devil's claw. And um, so I'm just messing around the barnyard and there's this, we've got, uh, we've got sunflowers all over the place and all kinds of other weeds and you know, it's, it's a, and a lot to keep up. And so, but I'm always coming across something that I'm not familiar with and so, the devil's claw was blooming. And so Dr. Jake is explaining about the devil's claw and I'm like, wow, and it's got pods on it. And I'm like, you know me, is it edible? <laughs> and like one of my friends said, I don't know why anybody would want to, but so I, I start looking around, I start doing research and, and the seeds are edible. And there's a great book. I found this great book. This is so good. Edible Wild Plants of the Prairie. Who knew? Kelly Kinsher, or Kinsher, I'm sorry, Kelly, if I'm not getting your name correct. Um, this is an amazing book, and right here is a photograph of Devil's Claw, and they've got all these great little drawings of all these plants, but he talks about what the Indians would have used the plant for and if they would have eaten it, and he makes all these historic references like the Stephen Long expedition. Did they talk about this specific plant? So uh, it's a fantastic book. Well, long story short, um, I had to try Devil's Claw, and uh, it, it's got sort of the texture of okra. So I fry some up, and I'm like, here, Dr. Jake, try it. And he's like, I don't like okra. Why would I try? <laughs> Why would I try this? <laughs> Some people just have no sense of adventure, you know. But how can he? Do you like okra? Mm, well, it, it depends on how it's fixed. You know, I mean, just okra and eat well, it. Well, if no. it's if it's fried, you know, <laughs> if it's fried like they. You know, roll it in enough cornmeal and sprinkle enough stuff and fry it in some good grease. Yeah, it's, it's all good. <laughs> roll it in cornmeal, fry it in grease. It's good. There you go. All right. A little bacon. Bacon grease. That's yeah. the best. Let's take a look. It is called unicorn plant, proboscis flower, cat's claw, and ram's horn. Most Kansans refer to it as devil's claw because when the pod dries and splits apart, it forms two sharply hooked claws or horns. The dried pods had littered the barnyard. They were obviously meant to be used in floral arrangements, but those green pods, those bright green pods that look like okra gone awry, could they be useful? Useful, yes, and tasty. I posted the photo of the plant on Facebook and got all sorts of advice on preparing the pods mostly pickling, but some sources said it could be fried, so I cut some up, rolled it in cornmeal, and fried it like okra. It was pretty good, a slight bitter aftertaste, but pretty good. Then I found Kelly Kinsher's book, Edible Wild Plants of the Prairie, and it suggested boiling in salt water to tenderize. Another friend, Cindy Tune, said soaking in milk would take the bitter away. I will try both. Fortunately, we are blessed with Devil's Claw enough to experiment. The plant has a strong odor and is usually found in sandy soil, fields, or pastures. We have lots of space that fits that description. Devil's Claw, another reminder to take time to learn about the world around you, even if that world is just the barnyard. Well, I think they want us to get out of here, so I'm sure, Frank. I'm sure they do, Deb. <laughs> and we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas. Welcome to Kansas, gateway to us. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. And churn homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of 